Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marco. Um, so uh, I would like to uh, uh, thank the organizing committee for inviting me to give you this short talk about uh, the uh, need to reduce the risk of infection during ERCP. As you all know, endoscopes are complex devices due to their numerous internal parts and channels. And for this reason, they are also they do not accept autoclaving. And for these reasons, they are difficult to clean devices. Duodenoscopes are even more complex because of the presence of the elevator and the wire channel, which are very sensitive parts, even more difficult to, to clean. And we also know that endoscope-associated uh, endoscope infections can come through two different pathways. One, which is very common, is intraoperative, due to the translocation of the own patient's flora, with the germs passing from, uh, the, the, through the digestive tract, a third digestive mucosal trauma. And the second pathway is cross-contamination from one patient to subsequent patients uh, treated with the same endoscope, contaminated endoscope. And this can result, it can be the upshot of an inadequate cleaning, disinfection, and drying procedure. It can be the result of the use of contaminated automatic endoscope preprocessors, but also from flaws in instrument design or the use of damaged endoscopes. So to prevent these infections, we all uh, use high-level disinfection, which is currently recommended worldwide and uh, has the objective to have the bacterial burden of the endoscope decreasing from 9 to 12 log at the end of the, proce of the endoscopic procedure to minus 6 log at the end of uh, the disinfection, which is the equivalent of a sterile instrument. It means that there is only one germ present for every 1 million reprocessed instruments, or the equivalent of a sterility assurance of minus 6 log. Of course, this must be true of every instrument, every day, whatever the circumstances, and it's clearly a tall order because any lapse or breach in this process can lead to the chronic colonization uh, of the endoscope and the creation of biofilm. Actually, these different steps of endoscope preprocessing, namely cleaning, high-level disinfection, rinsing, drying, and storage, all aim at preventing the formation of biofilm. Biofilm is a particular, very particular matter in which microorganisms are deeply embedded uh, in an extracellular matrix essentially made of polysaccharides and which is very comfortable in settling inside the irregular surfaces uh, of internal uh, parts of the, of the endoscopes. And they are the source of uh, future contaminations. Um, these cross-contaminations have a long history, actually, since the early times of a flexible endoscopy in the 1970s. Some outbreaks have been reported. There's been uh, some uh, increased outbreaks in the 1990s, but more of concern are recent outbreaks uh, just a few years ago, uh, between 2012-2015, and uh, the big problem is that these were due to multidrug-resistant bacteria. And you know that the prevalence of multidrug-resistant bacteria are increasing worldwide. They are resistant to most antibiotics, and they can lead to a high mortality of more than 20%. And uh, for our uh, topic today, uh, the problem was that most of the, uh, these recent outbreaks were due to duodenoscopes. From 2004 to 2016, 25 reports of ERCP-associated outbreaks of infections with multidrug-resistant bacteria, especially carbapenem-resistant bacteria, were published. With more than 1,000 patients notified for screening, more than 250 clinical infections, and more than 20 deaths worldwide, as is represented in this graph. And very importantly, uh, most of these outbreaks were attributed to the persistent contamination at the elevator uh, or at cable channels. In approximately half the reports, there was no lapse or breach in reprocessing identified, meaning that there was no lapse in the, the staff, the, the, the procedure of the staff. And in more than five reports, multiple defects were identified in the duodenoscopes. 
in one of these outbreaks, which was specially thoroughly investigated, occurring in Marco's uh, department uh, a few years ago in the Netherlands, uh, the duodenoscopes were completely investigated. The tip of the contaminated duodenoscopes were dismantled and uh, uh, thorough examinations, including scanning, scanning electron microscopy of uh, different parts were undertaken, showing multiple defects uh, in the scopes. After these investigations, the US FDA made some observations and recommendations, and they identified uh, some features of the duodenoscopes that, that make those devices prone to retaining debris and biological materials namely the long, narrow interior channels, the adjacent device surfaces causing debris to be forced or caught in between the crevices during use, the inability to disassemble the devices for thorough cleaning and reprocessing, and also sleeves, valves, hinges, o-rings, etc. Subsequently, the FDA advisory committee urged a redesign of duodenoscopes in order to enable thorough cleaning and effective reprocessing through device disassembly or, re or disposable parts. So it's very important to take these uh, recommendations into consideration because ERCP is absolutely essential. As you know, ERCPs are important enough in life-saving procedures. They can potentially avoid the need for more invasive surgical procedures. At the, the moment, uh, more than 500,000 procedures uh, are reportedly performed every year in the USA and probably more than 300,000 in Europe. So prohibiting ERCP for cross-contamination issues would certainly have dire consequences. Uh, it would lead us back to surgical or percutaneous techniques with higher morbidity. We would certainly be confronted with a lack of, man of manpower for alternative techniques, and patients would be deprived of cost-effective and mini-invasive interventions. If we look uh, closer at the consequences of a contaminated duodenoscope-related bacterial outbreak, these consequences are twofold uh, for patients and for the institution. If you look at patients, if you take 100 ERCPs using a multidrug resistant contaminated duodenoscope, you'll have approximately 15 to 20 percent contaminated patients. Out of these 20 to 100 percent, or 3 to 20 patients out of 100, will develop overt infection, and this will uh, result in zero to five deaths, depending on the reports. And for the institution, consequences are both material, with the need for scope quarantines, decreased productivity, and increased waiting time for the patients, and financial, with the need for endoscope repairs, additional reprocessing, surveillance and tests, patient testing and infection care. And I calculate, I grossly calculated uh, from different reports that for one infected patient, uh, the cost for the institution uh, will be uh, nearly the cost of a new duodenoscope, duodenoscope or 30,000 euros. So uh, there are these uh, different steps of endoscope preprocessing, which aim at preventing biofilm pro uh, formation. And there are different avenues of improvement which have been identified, which include the improvement of quality assessment of reprocessing, alternative approaches to high-level disinfection, the identification of high-risk endoscopes like duodenoscopes, but also new endoscope technologies, including the need for enhanced access for cleaning with removable tips and single-use disposable components. Uh, the newly launched uh, endoscope uh, from Pentax, the DEC, has a detachable and single-use tip, including the elevator. It will be uh, developed further in next presentations. And uh, in this scope, the most difficult to clean part is detachable and will not be reused. The whole endoscope tip is more easily brushed, as is depicted in the figure, and the wire channel is watertight. So this is likely to prevent bacteria and other contaminants from being spread from patient to patient. Well, in conclusion, I would like to stress once again that ERCP is very important on one hand, and uh, on the other hand, multidrug bacteria are really a very uh, serious matter, probably one of the most important health issues of our times. So for these reasons, and because safety in ERCP is essential, this uh, subject must be taken very seriously. The recent outbreaks have uh, quickly uh, reported uh, having a wake-up call, um, 
problems have been identified, avenues of improvement have been uh, suggested. Uh, among them, endoscope pre-design with single-use detachable parts is likely to be a major advance. Thank you.